People of the internet, how you doing? This is Hailmeister, and welcome to another episode of Geocaching with Hailmeister. Now, I gotta admit, the weather's been pretty crappy here the last few weeks, and we've got a fresh new foot of snow on the ground. I don't know when I'm gonna get out and geocache anytime soon, so I figured I'd do something a little different. Broadcast from my house here today, make a video all about me. You get to learn new things about me. So a little question and answer session, and hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. You can also click that subscribe box right there at any time in this video, and you'll be notified when I make new videos and put them out. And I do it pretty consistently on a weekly basis. All right, let's get it fired up. Well, first things first, I was born in Portland, Maine way back in the day, and now I reside in the Northern Illinois area, and I have for almost 30 years now. Moved here from the West Coast when I was just like, I don't know, 10 years old or so. Made the drive all the way. That was a heck of a road trip, if you ask me. Too bad there wasn't geocaching back then. Boy, I could have really gotten a lot of states without even really trying that hard. Ah, oh, well. I do like sports. I'm a biggest fan of hockey and football. Now, I'm talking about American football here. I'm not talking about what us Americans call soccer. I don't really like soccer, but I do like hockey and American football, and I'm a fan of the Chicago Blackhawks and the Green Bay Packers. They're my two favorite teams. You know, I had a pretty good year back in, I think it was 2010. Yeah, it was 2010. Both of those teams won championships that same year. It was uh, pretty glorious to be a Green Bay Packer fan and a Chicago Blackhawks fan at the same time. What is the one item I cannot leave home without? And you know, I actually thought about that for a brief moment of time. And the best answer I can come up with is my car keys, right? That makes sense. Other than that, I guess it'd be my phone because how else would I make YouTube videos? My family and I, we have one pet right now. It's a pet hamster we got probably about a month ago. His name is Coco and my daughter just absolutely loves that rodent. My favorite color is yellow. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, I don't know, seems warm and friendly, I guess. My favorite ice cream flavor. I don't have to think hard about that one at all. It is by far and away, my favorite ice cream flavor is peanut butter and chocolate from Baskin Robbins. Absolutely divine. Love it. It's got the chocolate ice cream with the peanut butter chunks in there, and you just my favorite genre of music well that would have to be rock rock and roll or maybe even hard rock uh, I like all those things and I listen to my favorite uh, station here locally radio station is a rock station I don't know, just like it my favorite subject in school well now, let me tell you, I wasn't much of a scholar. I wasn't much of a screw-off either. I just, I don't know, I really liked lunch, you know? Second behind that would be study hall. I don't know. My first celebrity crush. Oh, boy. Let's see. Got to go back to my teenage years when all the hormones are, you know, starting to flow and starting to realize women and girls are a thing. Cindy Crawford. Boy, did I have a crush on her back in the day. The early 90s, boy, she was something else to me anyway, and, and to a lot of people, I think, back, back in the day. But uh, yeah, I was just coming in my teenage years, and she was on magazine covers, and uh, she was doing uh, commercials on TV, and she was actually on a Super Bowl commercial for Pepsi way back in the day. But uh, way back in the day, boy, that was my celebrity crush. How about yours? Leave a comment down in the description below. My most commonly used square word. <laughs> Censored for my younger audiences, of course. Have I ever broken a bone in my body? The answer to that is no. I have never broken a bone in my body. And I hope to keep it that way. Do I have any tattoos? I do not have tattoos. My body? is a blank canvas. 
My first job ever that I can remember, that's going back to my high school years again, is down at the local pub. They needed their lawn mowed. When I went there to mow the yard a couple times a week, there was usually beer bottles and stuff in the grass. <laughs> you know, being a young kid, I didn't care. <laughs> at the time, I didn't care. I had this nice riding lawnmower that I was loaned to by the bar owners. And they said, mow the yard, weed whack it, and everything else like that. And what they didn't tell me was, go ahead and pick up the bottles in the yard before you mow over them. <laughs> I just like the sound of cans and bottles being smashed under the blades, I guess. Of course, I got in trouble for that. One thing I wish I knew as a kid that I know now as an adult is I didn't need all that junk food. I didn't. Donuts, candy, McDonald's. I don't need it. And you know, if you're a young kid and you're watching this video, you don't need it either. Oh, man, I sound like a dad. What is the most used app on my phone that I use? The one I use the most? Well, that'd be Facebook. Ah, uh, you know, you just connect with the world that way and you got people on there you haven't seen in a long time or live far away or family and things like that. You know, you're on Facebook too. But the app I check first thing in the morning, not Facebook, no. First thing I do in the morning is I get up right before I have my cereal or my breakfast. I check the Munzee app. <gasps> you don't say, the Munzee app? This is geocaching with Hailmeister? And the first thing he does is check the Munzee app every day? Yeah, that's true. Of course, as you know, through my videos, I also play the game Munzee. And every day there's what there's called uh, mythological creatures. New mythological creatures pop up all around my area and I can get usually a couple on my way to work and usually a couple on my way home from work. And I don't know, it just changes every day. Countries I would like to visit in the future would probably include England because there's a lot of history there. I think it'd just be cool just to go to London, just see all the cool buildings and the parliament and I don't know, just all sorts of cool stuff there. Paris would be cool. Paris, France, obvious, for obvious reasons. I'd also like to go to Ireland. I have some Irish in me, as you can see by my my red hair here. Plus there's a lot of history in Ireland, castles and all sorts of cool things there I'd like to check out as well. And another country I'd like to go to, I guess this is actually a continent versus a country, it's Australia. The Outback. That's not a knife. What is the furthest I've been away from home ever? Oh, well, they'd be probably about 1,700 miles, give or take. Uh, a few years ago, I flew out to uh, California, to the Bay Area, San Francisco. Um, yeah, that's actually, actually, I've been out there twice in the last few years. Uh, once with my family and once without, but uh, yeah, that's about the farthest I've been away from home. And what do I do for a living? Well. If you've watched the trailer for my channel here, you'll know that I am a spot welder for an ice cream machine company. We make soft serve ice cream machines for everybody around the world. Our biggest customers, McDonald's, well, we do a lot of stuff for them. So anytime you go to McDonald's and get yourself an ice cream or a, a frappe or a milkshake or something, just know that Hailmeister probably maybe, maybe had a hand in making that machine that you're getting your product off of. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and what I had to say, and maybe you learned a few new things about old Hailmeister here that you didn't know before. If you'd like to add anything to this video, go ahead and drop a comment below. Tell me your favorites. Maybe I can learn some stuff about you, and you wouldn't have to make a video. So until next time, everybody, you guys stay safe, stay warm out there. Keep on cashing. If you play Munzee, keep on Munzeeing. We'll see you guys for another episode, Geocaching with Hailmeister.